Let's talk about naming of cyclone in light of the Bipurjoy cyclone which is recently set to landmark the region of Gujarat and uh, the coastal areas of Pakistan. So how does this naming occur and why the naming in Indian Ocean is so unique? Indian Ocean has 13 nations which lie in the region of the Indian Ocean. Uh, and let's first understand the history about the naming of these cyclones. So the concept of naming started back in 19th century and that was the time when the names were given on the names of saints, on the names of the year of occurrence, on the names of the boat that, ha that was most affected by the cyclone during that time. However, Clement Watch was the first to say that there should be a proper naming system and the naming at time as I said was arbitrary for example in Atlantic in 1848 42 there was one of the cyclones and it was known as Anje and that was based on the name of the boat which was in that region now what is really interesting was that during the mid 20th century a systematic um, naming culture evolved but this naming was mainly pertaining to women names when it was a multiple uh, cyclone in the ocean and this created a gender biasness and therefore there were numerous protests the system was brought down and then there was another system which was uh, there and in 1997 Hong Kong said that there should be regional names for the cyclones rather than those being adopted from US and Europe. So in 2000, the World Meteorological Organization started assigning the names of the cyclones in the Indian Ocean. And the list uh, was suggested by few of the nations. So the first list that came up had 64 names. And this list ended with Amphan as the last in the series and that was in 2020. However, post 2022, 2020, a new list was introduced. So here are the list of 13 nations that are affected or on the coast of Indian Ocean. Now, how does this naming is started? So the first in the new series was Nisarg. And then the name goes in the following sequence, right? So this time we are expecting Bipar Joy and this name is given by Bangladesh. <clears throat> so each of the nations, 13 nations taken into account and 13 names suggested by each nation. The name of each nation is considered once. Once the end is reached for the first list, that is Mocha, the second list would start. In the second list, when the Thwa is reached, the third list with Arnab would start and the sequence would go like this. So these are the new lists which have been suggested. As I said, Amphan was the last in the previous list. The previous nomenclature and the naming uh, we have discussed in our another video, uh, which is already up in the community and would have the link in the description as well. So if you want to know the previous names, you can refer that. Uh, another important one was uh, this is really important to understand that uh, one thing there have been retired names. What does this mean? Retired names means if any cyclone had been extremely destructive that name is not considered in future. And that's really important to know. So what are the names that have been suggested by India is another important thing that you must know. So Gati, Tej, Mursa, Ag, Vyom, Jhar are some of the names which have been propounded by India. Another interesting country, uh, interesting thing is that the maximum possible length of the name could be eight letters and that was propounded. Uh, another thing was the name should not be rude, not be too cruel and a systematic effort has been given so that uh, the name is not political and not culturally affiliated. Now some of the names of the cyclones that have retired are Manghut, Irma and Maria, Hayan, Sandy, Katrina, Mitch and Tracy because these were considered as ones which were severely devastating and therefore the names had been withdrawn from the list. So this classification and naming is really important for those appearing with geography optional as a subject and geography as one of their core subjects. Uh, we would be covering many interesting topics, contemporary topics in our geography. Uh, the complete 
lecture series is available in the link below which does have contemporary updates regularly done on it so stay tuned for more updates wish you good luck